Today's special guest has a Wikipedia page. He is a Yale graduate executive type who has a career list highlights that includes running the IRS for five years and working under several different presidents, including Ronald Reagan and George W. Bush. He even ran for president himself. You heard that right. In 2016, he was one of 18 candidates in the Republican National Committee list. And he also lives right here in Gautier, Mississippi. Introducing the one, the only, Mark Everson. I love the red door. Hello. Well, hello. <laughs> How are you? I love the get up. Well, uh, you know, I, I have a tuck so I can go back and get the jacket All if you right. like. Ah, <sighs> well, this is beautiful, and the AC is nice. Are you a big cook? Uh, no, I'm not much of a cook, but I do more. I do more than I did when I was younger. I cook a breakfast, a hot breakfast every day for Oliver, and then two or three nights a week, maybe I grill something or I do some spaghetti with some frozen shrimp scampi, but I do a nice salad. I do oh, a nice salad. I bet, I bet. Oh, is this Oliver? And is this, oh, that's you! That was, Look that, at you looking all presidential! That was a White House, that was my White House photo when I was on the White House staff, and we used that as the OMB, not the OMB, the IRS. When I ran the IRS for four years, that was the official photograph, okay. too. So. Did you happen to notice my presidential Oh, you know, you, you, this is all for you. That is very cool. Very cool. I never had one of those. You did? Oh, do you want one? <laughs> we have one. Oh, yeah, and I, I, I don't need to wear one. I think, uh, I think it looks better on you. Okay. All right. We'll keep it. Keep anyway. up with the tour. Let's go. All right. What okay, else you got? Good. Everybody in D.C. has some sort of trophy room or something. And I, so I have a few things, but. Uh, Let's see. Um, this is your trophy room. It's all so, of your like memorabilia. So, okay, so right here, this is interesting. This is, of course, President Reagan, and that's actually Rupert Murdoch there. This is years ago. This is 1983, and that's me right in the back there. <gasps> young, that's you with the little mustache. Yeah, it's in the Situation Room in the White House. And the last thing I'll show you is from that campaign. And this oh, this is when you ran for president. Yes, and this means a lot, which was in 16 one of 18 candidates and uh, didn't get very far, but this is a note that was sent to me from my older son. I've got four kids um, and a foster daughter who's a Cambodian refugee, two adopted children from Turkey, and then Oliver. This is from Leonard, who's the older of the two uh, Turkish born children. There he is there. We were campaigning in what is that iowa or something no no that's in new hampshire giant pumpkins oh i love the pumpkins <laughs> anyway, and that's just a note he sent me the next year saying saying some nice things so that made a lot meant a lot to me okay now you said in order to run for president you just need like peace in your heart and i'm wondering don't you need something else like don't you need to be 35 years old and maybe a u.s resident oh yeah sure a citizen i think that it's a natural born citizen so yeah there's anything some, else there's some constant Need some money. <laughs> <laughs> what about a good campaign slogan? Oh yeah, we need, probably do need a good campaign slogan. Yes. Okay. okay. What have you got? You got one for me? I have. Okay. If Miss Congeniality wants to run for president, I've got some great pictures, and I would like you okay. to help me give captions or slogans to these pictures. All right. Here's my icon. What do you think? Do you think that'll win? Um, you know. Uh, your hair is lighter than that. It's pretty nice, though. Okay, well, what about this? Do you think that's a good one? Uh, you'll get the mail vote. I'll get the mail vote. Okay, well, I wanted something a little more serious. What about that? Yes, that's, that is... <laughs> that's, you know... Can I you think, think of you're... a caption for that? I'm not quite a librarian. Okay, well, this one I thought would make it like more of like everyday people. Yeah, I'd stay away from this one. That's uh, why. Yeah, you know, probity. There's just it, we've, we've we've got a little too much entertainment in the office now. This would take it to a different level. Oh, okay. Next, Mark is going to take us to his favorite southern spot, and we're going to talk about that new feather in his hat, you know, the Parent of the Year Award. Stay with us. Vote for me, I'm smart. <laughs> I like to have fun and make a difference. Um, 
just ready or not, here I come. No crazy, not crazier than what's in there now. Look at all the stuff you can get from Coastal Hardware. The secret is out, Jamie. The best shopping on the Gulf Coast is right here at a hardware store. We've got lumber, tools and hardware, lawn and garden, plumbing, Neutrina feed, paint, toys, gifts, jewelry, clothes. Don't forget the boots and bird feeders. We are more than a hardware store. Come experience our southern hospitality, Highway 603, The Kiln. Some uh, giant beer cans. Hurricane wreckage? Spaceships. Where are the rides? Scientology Church. It's the Oral Keep Museum of Art. Visit our website at georgeor.org and become a member of the Mad Potter Society. We promise we won't make you stand on your head. Okay, now we are back with the one and only Mark Everson. And Mark Everson is from the East Coast, but he's now living here on the Gulf Coast. Mark, why are we here at Hops and Growlers in Ocean Springs? Well, because the beer is very good. And, really? And the company's not bad. Oh, my. Well, thank you. What exactly? Oh, is this mine? That is yours. I get the pink one. What is this? It's very berry. Very berry. And what is this? Summertime wheat. And you make this yourself? We make everything, yeah. Okay, well, fantastic. Thank you so much. And tell me why you think he's made a good Southerner now. <laughs> well, Mark is a giving, loving person. You know, <laughs> does everything he can to help a person. I hate. And as a former IRS agent, I need Mark on my side. Hold up, is this a commercial? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, cheers. cheers. Thank you so much for inviting me here, Mark. Hey. Now, so speaking of parent of the year, what does it take to be the parent of the year? I mean, who cares about the IRS and, and presidents? Tell me about parent of the year. Well, I sort of stumbled into it. My son goes to Senior River Academy, which has all of the fifth graders and all of the sixth graders who live in Goche. It's right there on Goche Van Cleve Road. And, uh, so there's a turnover there are, it's only two years so there's a lot of parents coming and going and i volunteered to help out and just ended up i love it because I, I you know the kids are still the kids are still nice when they're in the fifth and sixth grade okay they haven't become oh <laughs> uh, you know little hooligans quite yet <laughs> and what i think is so fascinating about you is the fact that you ran for president when i told my son that you ran for president he goes you can do that? Like, do you have to <laughs> apply? Like, how do you do that? So, you know, my question for you now is, are you going to run for president again? Well, it's interesting. Uh, once you've done it, of course, you give it more thought. I, I believe the country does uh, need someone who has both the competence and also the vision. I think the center is bigger than people say it is. And I, I believe that the Republican Party has a heritage of Lincoln and Roosevelt and Eisenhower, yeah. Reagan, and uh, right now we seem to be repudiating that that heritage. That's a shame because it's a great heritage. So yes, I. I Are you going to run again? I, I think it's a long shot, but I have several people, some people in Iowa and New Hampshire, have sort of suggested that there need to be challengers. There need to be challengers to the president. So he so. may run again. That's 2020. <laughs> hey, well, don't go. <laughs> don't get. <laughs> Don't get, hold your horses, hold your horses. We can say we saw them first on Miss Congeniality, right? <laughs> hold your horses, Jamie. Oh, but, I but, love you know, it. <laughs> of course, I care about the country. Yeah. I care about the country, and I'd like to see us uh, treating each other better in our political discourse. I'd like to see us make progress in the immigration issue, and I'd like to see constitutional governance. So, so I am concerned about where we are. <laughs> what, what do I need to do to win? What do I need to do? You need to have a vision and a message for the country, uh -huh. and you need to ha be compelling, and, and you need to be I'm trusted, compelling. trusted, but you need to be trusted by the people that you'll follow through and do what you say. That's me all the way. <laughs> That's me. Thank you so much, Mark, for being with us here on the show. And next, you guys, we are going to be taking this over to the theater to audition for The Elf, the musical. You won't want to miss this. Stay with us. Thank <laughs> you.